My name is Savia Sachi Tucker. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Johns Hopkins. I specialize in hip and knee reconstruction. I work at the Howard County General Hospital. So there are several different reasons for undergoing knee replacement surgery. Arthritis is the most common reason in which there is wear and tear of the various surfaces, which is the cartilage in the joint. But the joint is comprised of more than just the cartilage. We also have ligaments and tendons, and we have the meniscus shown here in blue. Sometimes patients will have several different meniscus tears, or they will have failed ACL surgery, which are the cruciate ligaments inside the knee. And if they've undergone those procedures without successful relief, we may have to convert them to total knee replacements. So this is a, a bone model of a knee, which has the thigh bone or the femur, the leg bone, which is the tibia and the fibula, and the kneecap, which is the patella. In doing a knee replacement surgery, we shift the kneecap out of the way to access the knee, and then we resurface the rough edges of the thigh bone, the leg bone, and also of the kneecap. That is a total knee replacement surgery. In doing a partial knee replacement surgery, once again, we move the kneecap out of the way and we assess which compartment, either the inside, the outside, or underneath the kneecap is arthritic and address that compartment. A knee replacement or total knee replacement typically reshapes the deformed bone or the arthritic bone and puts smooth metal caps and plastic pieces in between. So this is the metal cap that goes onto the thigh bone, which sits on the plastic piece, which becomes the new knee joint. And then you have another metal cap that sits on the leg bone and that functions as a total knee replacement. We believe in multimodal pain control. We do not rely on just one agent, but we have a combination of agents such as anti-inflammatories, nerve-related medications, opioids, nerve blocks, to help patients recover faster from their procedures and to also try and achieve pain control before these procedures. The recovery after surgery is customized to each patient. Most patients will recover in about six to eight weeks after surgery. They're up and walking the very same day, but they need a period of about six to eight weeks to work with physical therapy. After that, they're gradually brought into their activities of daily living and further on onto their sports related activities. After knee replacement surgery, they typically have a very standard protocol to help patients achieve an active, healthy lifestyle. They use various devices like the anti-gravity or zero-gravity treadmill. They also have aqua therapy, which is water-based exercises, so that the patient's joints are not terribly loaded while they perform strengthening activities. We also have several different modalities, such as TENS, and acupuncture and acupressure to help relieve pressure on the muscles and achieve very good balance in their joints. There are occasions when a hip replacement or knee replacement fails, or there is a need for conversion from a partial knee replacement to a total re knee replacement. That is known as a revision joint replacement procedure. At Johns Hopkins Orthopedics, we specialize in evaluating causes of failure, whether it's related to the implant, whether it's related to the technique, or an amalgamation of both, and providing our honest opinion to patients so that we may perform revision procedures to ensure a healthy, active lifestyle.